Okay, everyone. I want to show you how to graph a piecewise function with the TI-8384 calculator. It works the same way on both calculators, so I'm going to stick with the TI-84 right here because it has the bigger screen and it's easier to see what's going on with it. A couple of warnings. This has an equal sign, so it gets graphed with a solid dot. This does not. It's going to get graphed with an open dot. This doesn't know that and won't graph with solid or open dots. Okay. Second, this is nowhere near the best way to do these. The best way to do this is just to plot some points and graph it by hand. Seriously, you're going to get a much better graph quicker. Okay, but I know some of you want to know how to do it with the calculator, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a video. All right, first thing we got to do is type this in the calculator, so we're going to press Y equals. Now, there is no Google Doc for this one like most of my videos have, simply because Google Docs doesn't let you type that in very nicely. While I could type it in Word, do a screenshot and bring it over to Google Docs, I didn't want to do that today. So I'm just going to handwrite this one. All right. Now, we're going to press Y equals. I'm going to clear out what's in here. Now, when you go to graph this, you have to type it in in a funny way. You, you could type part of it in Y1 and Y2, but the calculator will let you type the entire thing in at once. Okay? So, in Y1, when I go to type this first part right here, okay, I'm going to put parenthesis X plus 2, parenthesis X less than negative 1. This is how you type it for the calculator to recognize it. It is piecewise. So I'm going to put parenthesis, x plus 2, close parenthesis, parenthesis, x. Now where do you get the inequality? Well, that inequality is the second math button. If I hit second math, I get all of the inequalities. I want less than, so I'm going to go down to less than and put negative 1 there. Okay? Now, to get the second part in the calculator... What I need to do, to get this part right here, what I need to do is put a plus sign and then put int in parentheses x squared, close parentheses, and put x greater than or equal to negative 1 in parentheses over here. Okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to type in here. I'm going to put plus parentheses x squared, close parentheses, open parentheses, x. Hit second test again to get your inequalities. Do my greater than or equal to negative 1, close parenthesis. Okay? Now what I can do from here, and I'm going to use a kind of a smaller window. I'm not going to use zoom standard. Remember, zoom standard does negative 10 to 10. Zoom, uh, zoom sorry, decimal does negative 4 to 4. So it's a smaller window. You can see it graphed this just fine. Okay, and they graphed the piecewise, and they graphed what I expected it to graph. So if I take a look at this, draw my axes, over here at negative 1. Now, if I were to plug negative 1 into that, I get negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So it'll be right there. And this should be an open dot right here. Oh, and I'm not keeping my colors consistent. This one right here should be an open dot. And it should be going off like this, because this is a straight line. Now, when I graph this one over here, I plug negative 1 in there, I do get 1 as well. So, that allows me to get a filled in line, and x squared looks like this. So, if you take a look at it, the calculator is graphing that perfectly. Okay? And it won't always graph them well. Just keep this in mind. So, experiment with it, play with it a little bit, but that's how you type a piecewise in there to get the calculator to graph it. Okay? And just to show you, I'm going to handwrite another one real quick. I want to show you what happens. Let's do f of x equals, i got to do this quick because I'm running out of time on the video. Let's just do x plus 2, x less than negative 1 again to make things quickly. But here we'll do x squared plus 4, x greater than equal to negative 1. That way, I don't have much to edit in my calculator, so I press y equals. I just have to come in here and I can hit second insert and put plus four. Okay? So it doesn't change it up too much and then I can press that same zoom four. What the heck just happened? Let me press zoom six. So it's a more standard window. What the calculator's doing is it's graphing 
this part, let me get the right color again, it's graphing this part just like it did before. Open dot like this. This one shifted up for so it should be graphing it like this and there should be a gap in here. The calculator doesn't know there should be a gap. So it's leaving, it, it's connecting them. And this is why I don't like graphing these and if I turn on one of the newer 84s and do the same thing real quick, I'm going to leave these in there. They won't hurt anything. It's going to take me a second to type it in. Parenthesis x plus 2, close parenthesis, parenthesis, x second test. And we're doing less than negative 1, less than negative 1, close parenthesis. Oh, not minus, plus, parenthesis, we're doing x squared plus 4. And then we're doing x second test greater than or equal to negative one close parenthesis and then if I press my zoom six on this one it takes a longer for it to graph but notice this one does have the jump in there so they did correct some of these issues with the newer calculators but you just have to be aware of it and again this doesn't show the open and closed dots like it should there should be a big old closed dot right up here on the x squared one and an open dot down here and there isn't the calculator can't do it so just be aware there are limitations with the calculator graphing piecewise but some of you will find it useful some of you will like to see it so i made a short video on it hope you enjoyed